Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn different aspects of data science and concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to solve this question on from lead code and try to walk you through how we can build this query right from the very basics. Okay, so this is uh, lead code SQL question number 183 customers who never order. So here we are given two tables. The first table is called customers, which has two columns, ID and name, where ID is a primary key. So primary key means unique values and non-null values. Secondly, there is another table that is given called orders. It also has two columns called ID and customer ID. Now, if you remember from a couple of videos back, I talked about that when we are trying to join two tables, do not just join it, join two tables just because they have same name or same column name, right? So here in this table as well in customers table, we have a column name ID in the orders table, we have a column name ID, but here both the IDs represent something else. So customer ID is not orders ID. So that is what we need to keep in mind. So always try to see the values in a column before, you know, just jumping right in the query and okay, yeah, these two tables have a common column name. So yeah, let's start and join it. No, like then it would be a, a lot of problems. Okay. So the orders table has two columns, ID and customer ID, and it is mentioned that ID is the primary key. So again, primary key, that means non-null unique values. Customer ID is the foreign key of the ID from the customer's table. So basically this customer ID is referencing back to customer table and the column ID. So again, uh, I have been uh, continuously talking about it. Foreign keys can only take values from the column which they are referencing to or they can be null. So this is important thing. So now we are, since we know this uh, customer ID to be the foreign key of this column, this is the column which uh, should be used from orders table and ID column should be used from customer table to merge these information together. And what do we do by merging? We join basically these two tables. Okay, so now we need to write a SQL query to report all customers who never order anything. The order does not matter. And here is an example. Okay, so obviously this is the customer table with four customers, Joe, Henry, Sam, Max, and orders table basically has uh, the order ID and the customer ID. So from these two tables, what you can infer. So customer ID one, Joe, did he order something? Yes. So customer ID one has a I order ID two. So one, two, three, like think this off as like some strange 10, 12 digit order ID. Like when let's say you Apple, uh, when you order products from Apple, you have a W X Z something order ID, right? So it is that here it is uh, written one, two, three, just to make you uh, like, just to get you confused a lot but don't get confused with it. So yeah, so one Joe, yes, it is present uh, in the orders table and the person has ordered something whose order ID is two, cool. Did Henry uh, order something? No, because since two is not in the customer ID, so Henry didn't order anything. Similarly, Sam did, but Max didn't. So obviously when we are asking, uh, report all customers who never order anything. So from this, we can say that, yeah, Henry and Max didn't order anything. And that is what our output should be. So if you can think about it, uh, there are there the logic that we need to uh, do in our, we need to employ while writing this query is basically two ways, right? And I will suggest to you, and I will, uh, go more about the second way and what problem that it could have. Okay, so the first one person can think, okay, this is very simple. Why not I join these two tables, try to see if every uh, member of the customer table has or ha has not ordered something. If 
you join these tables and there is a order id involved with it so obviously the person has ordered something then exclude them and people who have null ids or who don't have anything in the id column in the order id column um so obviously they have not ordered anything and just return the name of them right secondly what you can do is try to find out okay which all people have ordered things by joining these two uh, performing an inner join and inner join always keeps records which are in the both table so perform an inner join since joe and sam has uh, have ordered something if we return uh, from this table the names of the people who have not ordered something then what we need to do so from this table exclude the names of people who we who have ordered something right so this is second uh, logic which one might think of but there is a problem with this logic and the way we do this so let's uh, start with the first one so basically the first logic was from uh, this customer table try to join these two tables and see who all have ordered something and who have uh, not ordered anything right so let's start with it so from customer table and let's alias it as c left join why i am doing left join is because left join keeps all the rows from the table which is left to the keyword left right so left join the order table alias it as o and we discussed that how can we join these two tables by using the primary id of the customer uh, table on c dot id is equal to and use the foreign key of the order table so o dot customer id right so what will this do how will this work uh, let's let's see okay so row 1 id equal to 1 it goes to order table in the customer id column and sees if there is uh, id equal if there is if the value 1 exists in this so yes value 1 exist here so uh, in this uh, in this table two more columns will be appended id customer id 1 jo id will be here another id uh, from the order table will become 2 and then customer id is 1 for row 2 the cursor will go okay so 2 tries to find out 2 in this column it is not present so it will have null and null in both the columns similarly for 3 it will find so it will populate for 4 max it won't find so null null okay so this is how this is what it will be returning now we need to uh, now we need to return customers who never order anything so from the process that i described so people who ordered something had some value in the id column here right when when uh, we joined both this table and people who didn't order anything had null here so obviously since we need to return people who didn't order anything so then we will filter the results out so uh after joining we keep so we use where clause where o dot id so basically order id is null so when when you keep only those records where order id is null which means that only those customers are now kept which didn't order anything right and then from that we return the name of the customers and since here it is mentioned that the name of the column should be customers so we alias it as customers okay so we can go ahead and run this query try to see if works we can submit it as well try to see and yes accepted cool now the second logic that i was talking about right that what if we try to find out uh who all have ordered something and then from this table exclude those name so then again also it will uh, it will tell you right okay so these are the people who have not ordered anything like seems pretty logical but let's develop the query and then uh, see what what the problem would be 
okay again what we are the first thing we need to find out people who have ordered something right so again from customers table alias it at c inner join orders table on o why am i doing inner join because from these two tables i only want to keep people who uh, who have something here in the orders table so so basically is it's a way of is another way of saying for people who have ordered something right so from customers inner join orders table on same thing primary key of the orders uh, of the customers table and foreign key of the orders table so customer id so yeah so and if you return the name of the people uh, select c dot name so basically what this is giving so from customers inner join orders so basically uh, on co dot id equal to o dot customer id so basically only those customers who have ordered something and then return the name right now obviously what we need to do we need from this table we need, need to exclude these columns okay cool so what uh, can we do is put them in parentheses let's build it again one one by one so from the customers table from customers table uh alias it as c does not matter from customers table return the name so return the name and alias it as customers just like before but where but only so where is only keep certain records so keep only records where the name of the customers is not in this value okay so these are the people who ordered something so from the name of the from customers only return those people who are not in this name right so basically ultimately the entire thing becomes people who have not ordered something right okay let's run this right so see this passes the uh, test test case right but now think of it what problem might it might create okay let us see the problem that it can have uh, so instead of uh, having four records let's have id equal to 1 name whatever joe let's say there is another person whose name is again joe right so joe joe but their uh, ids are different so there are two joes okay let's say uh, the orders table has only one uh, one record in it so customer id like order id whatever and customer id one okay so basically one yeah, that means the first joe has ordered something okay now if you come and see this query what will it return people who have ordered something so joe the na name of joe will return right so joe comes in here cool comes in here now from this table so basically it has one joe two joe return the name of people who are not joe right so since both the names are joe it will return null but see the problem is who didn't order something the second joe the name of the person should be returned joe but here from this query it will return null so see that is a caveat in this so one need to think of it, it as well okay so this is a problem but how can we make this work right because the logic is not wrong right logic is not wrong from this people people who have ordered if you exclude that it should give uh, people who have not ordered because either a person orders either a person does not order right so the logic is not an issue the things we are writing here is the issue so what we can do is 
inst because people can have same name right but since as is as it was mentioned that id is the primary key of this column so two people even even with same name won't have same id right so now if you think about it instead of returning name in this case if we return the id their customer id so obviously it is going to be unique and then change this where the id is not in people who in the ids who people of uh, customers who have ordered something so now what what this is doing from customers keep only people who like from customers inner join so basically for all the customers who have ordered something you store the value and then uh, return the their customer ids and now so these are the customer ids of people who have ordered something so from this from the customers table return the name of the customers whose customer id is not in the uh, id or the list of id who have ordered something so obviously people if your id is not in the list of people who have ordered something then then that that definitely means that you you are a person who have not ordered something so now this will work because now if you again think of the same example one joe two joe and one one so now what will happen in this case inner join so it will keep only one joe one uh, and whatever their order id would be and then from this uh, this table which had one joe two joe it will exclude one because the first joe ordered something but since the second joe uh, since the second joe was uh, will be present there so that person's name will be returned so if i run this okay so this worked we can go ahead and submit it as well and yes it gets submitted right so yeah this is how we can solve this question and how and what things we need to keep in mind and sometimes even if we think our logic is correct the columns or the values that we are using might throw some error or might ignore some of the edge cases so that is what we need to keep in mind while doing sql and and i will see you guys in the next video